Welcome to LogiCube's tutorial on the Falcon Neo Forensic Imager. The Falcon Neo allows you to image directly to or from a network repository using SMB or CIFS protocol and to image from a network location using iSCSI. Two 10 gig E ports provide extremely fast network imaging performance. In this episode, we'll show you how to image from a network repository to a physical drive connected to the Falcon Neo. Before creating a network repository on the Falcon Neo, make sure you have full permissions to the shared resource. We strongly suggest that you contact your network administrator to ensure proper permissions have been set up. We've set up a directory on the C drive of a computer that is connected to the same network as the Falcon Neo. By right-clicking on the directory, I can verify that I have full permissions to this share. We'll now create and mount the repository on the Falcon Neo. Navigate to the Manage Repositories icon from the left side menu of the Falcon Neo interface. On the Add Remove tab, you'll see a list of all available repositories, including all drives attached to the Falcon Neo destination ports in any network repository. Tap the Add Repository button at the bottom of the screen. Tap Name to set the name of the repository. Click OK. Then tap Drive to select a network share to set as a repository. Then tap Network Source to select the network source, either LAN 1, LAN 2, or any. Next tap Destination Settings to enter the network settings. You'll need to enter the path of the share. This will include the IP address and share name. Make sure you use the forward slash, not the backward slash. Then enter the domain of the share if the shared resource is in a domain. If not, use the workgroup name. Then enter the username that has full permissions to the shared resource, both read and write access. Then enter the password for the username. Click OK. Next, tap Role. The repository can be set as a source or a destination or both. Once the repository has been set up, it will appear under the repository list. In order for a repository to remain configured when the Falcon Neo is turned off, the changes must be saved and loaded to a profile on the Falcon Neo. Refer to the user's manual on how to do this. Once a repository has been added, you can proceed to use it as a source or destination for whatever imaging task you require. For this task, we'll select the file to file mode, then we'll select the source, we'll select the repository we just set up. Next, choose your settings. Here, you can enter a case name and other information, including an evidence ID. Click OK and set the output format. In this case, we'll choose directory tree. For filter settings, we'll choose not to include any filters and leave the default settings. Next, choose your hash method and choose whether you want to verify or not. Next, select your destination. In this case, a hard drive that is connected to the Falcon Neo. Once all your settings have been chosen, press Start and the imaging task will begin. Upon completion of the imaging task, you can review the log file associated with the task by navigating to the Logs icon from the left side menu bar. The log file includes all of the chosen settings and the file information from the network repository that was captured for this task. Thank you for your interest in the Falcon Neo. We hope you have found this tutorial informative. To learn more about the Falcon Neo, visit our website at logicube.com or contact our sales team at sales at logicube.com. <laughs>